Most of the U.S. military aid to Ukraine is already in Poland. This includes the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle and other military equipment. This means that military aid will reach Ukraine sooner, recall, the House of Representatives has finally approved billions of dollars in new U.S. military aid for Ukraine to help combat Russia's invasion, the U.S. Senate is poised to vote on April 23 on a significant aid package for Ukraine. Following months of debate, the House of Representatives approved the assistance with broad bipartisan support, making the passage in the Senate almost certain Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer announced, the finish line is now in sight for the assistance package. The task before us is urgent. It is once again the Senate's turn to make history, said Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, the final package, totaling $95 billion in military assistance to U.S. allies, includes funds for Israel and Taiwan, alongside the $61 billion earmarked for Ukraine. President Joe Biden is expected to receive the bill for approval by the end of the week according to CNN, while American officials will not say so openly, a U.S. source familiar with the provision of military aid to Ukraine said much of it is already pre-positioned in storage facilities in Germany and Poland, which would obviously cut down on the amount of time needed to get it into Ukraine. The source also said artillery shells would be among the first materials moved forward once across the border, officials in Kiev will look to get it where it is needed as quickly as they can, but doing so will still present a considerable logistical challenge given the sheer quantity of material involved. U.S. Republicans call on House Speaker Johnson to resign or face firing over aid to Ukraine. Republican Party Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene declared that House Speaker Mike Johnson had betrayed Republican voters after lawmakers approved new aid to Ukraine. She threatens to initiate a vote for his dismissal if he does not resign, citing CNN. Mike Johnson's speakership is over. He needs to do the right thing to resign and allow us to move forward in a controlled process. If he doesn't do so, he will be vacated, Green said on Fox News. If Green and her supporters follow through on their threat to force a vote to remove him from the Speaker's position, Johnson will almost certainly have to rely on Democrats for his rescue, the publication writes. According to the channel, at least three Republicans support Green's position. Johnson insists he did not seek help from any Democrats. However, some of them have expressed readiness to save Johnson, especially after he challenged the right flank of the Republicans on foreign aid. Congressman Ro Khanna said that he would vote against the proposal to remove Johnson from the Speaker's post. I disagree with Speaker Johnson on many issues and I've been very critical of him, but he did the right thing here and he deserves to keep his job till the end of his term, he said.
On April the 20th, the U.S. House of Representatives approved $61 billion in aid to Ukraine. Johnson's decision on whether to put the relevant bill to vote was crucial. The Speaker hesitated for a long time, conducting various consultations as he had already been threatened with removal from office. The New York Times, citing sources, reported that Johnson's decision was influenced by a meeting with senior national security officials who persuaded him of the urgency of providing assistance to Ukraine.